heard from the NPP, they have also sent notice to the EC that if the EC yields to um, uh, your calls for a forensic audit, they would also hit the streets and demonstrate against the EC. That, that, is, that is one of the most ridiculous. In fact, I don't know what happened to the NPP that they, deteriorate, they have deteriorated to this level. Uh, and uh, when I saw the statement, I remember sharing it uh, with Dr. Omani Buama, and uh, I, I said, I just wrote, this is sad that the MPP has been reduced to this level. I don't know whether there are no elders in the party mm. or not. We are demanding a forensic audit mm -hmm. to fix a register in an election that you are going to participate. Mm -hmm. If you do not have anything to hide, if you are not in cahoot with the Electoral Commission to rig the election, to steal the election, then what is your problem if there is a forensic audit, independent forensic audit, to fix the problems in the register? Mm. How do you have a problem with that? And how do you intend to hold a demonstration to resist a forensic audit? We are not saying NDC should do the forensic audit. Indeed, we have done our audit. And we have, got, we have exposed some of the errors. Mm -hmm. So what we are saying is that let's get an independent body, independent institution to conduct a forensic audit mm. into the register and into the systems to help you, the MPP, and us, the NDC. And you see, the funny thing is the duplicity the hypocrisy that is exhibited by both the Electoral Commission and Madame Jean Manson of the Ele Ele Electoral Commission.